the sun is out, the legs are out, and I'm inside doing an unboxing video. Hello and welcome to Retro Toys TV, my name's Tim. You might see over my shoulder there that I have a stack, stack of parcels. I have been acquiring some goodies and I have one that I want to open for you this morning. You can't see it, but it's down here. I'm sorry. I have not made any inroads on tidying the room, so you've got it all down here, but I'm going to show it up, I'm going to show it to you there, and then separately I'll be doing a review of said retro toys. Before I start, I should actually <laughs> give you a bit of significance of what I have got down here. If you haven't already seen it, I did a top 10 holy grail toys video a few weeks ago, so go and check it out on my channel, but not now. Wait till you've seen this, then go and see it. Link will be up there somewhere. <laughs> Here is my first item off that Holy Grail list. And it's, a, it's, it's an awesome piece. You see, I have acquired, through means of the eBay, a complete Predacon set, including all the accessories to make, drum roll please, to make Predaking. A little bit of admittance, it did cost me a little bit of money, but I kind of weighed up the cost of buying it complete with a bit of a markup versus trying to get them all and get all the bits and pieces separately. And I thought, you know what? I can't be bothered to do all that. I thought I'll just buy the damn thing and get it here. So this is what I've done, it's here. And it's time to have a look. Peeling back the bubble wrap. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Look at this, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you down here. Hold on, hold on. Let's just show you this. Come here, come here. All right. Check out this. Look, look. How well packaged is that? So you've got two boxes, which I knew would come in. And look at all them. Top quality job, sir. Top quality job. Right, now you've seen that. Awesome, awesome packaging. Thank you very much. Let's start it. First stop. Excuse the rattling, let's explain that in a minute. We've got the Rampage box. I'm not really bothered about boxes. I'm not really a box collecting person. But in there he's put all the accessories for feet and stuff like that. Got the Headstrong box. And in here is one of the teams. So let's see if we can get this open first. Got more accessories. In fact, it's all the accessories. Bago accessories. Right, let's get down to business. Scissors. We have got, that is Rampage. Rampage in kind of, this is gonna be Predaking form. These are big. I didn't realize how big Predacons were. These are really big. Hang on. This is Dive Bomb. Dive Bomb, the wings are in the bag down there. Now this is, I can feel it already. This has got some of the metal. So this has got die cast elements of it. Rampage has got the plastic. This is the metal die cast. Ah! Headstrong, again, plastic version. Nice, nice condition headstrong. Date on him, 86, brilliant. This is Tantrum. Nice. I can't get over how big these are. And whoa! This is gonna be Razor Claw. And we have Razor Claw. Now, he did say in his listing that Razor Claw's body was a little bit wobbly, but I can replace him. That's relatively easy to do. I actually would be sussing out some replacements already, so that's a relatively quick swap out. He's got the metal on though. So to recap, we've got two die casts and three plastics, which is fair enough. Two boxes, all the accessories. Absolutely amazing. Did I think I was gonna get a holy grail this quick since I produce a video, nope. Did I think I was gonna get a complete Predaking in the UK for a reasonably cheap price, nope. I have a holy grail. Super, super excited, brilliant stuff. Right, I need to put this in, where am I gonna put it? I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it in the collection. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a review for you in a few days, week, whatever time. Stack it up, get it recorded properly so you can see how big 
Seriously, these are huge. Hang on, I've got a top holster. Now here's a comparison. Here's Hot Rod, G1 Hot Rod. Who we got here? This is Rampage. They're just genuinely, they feel bigger. They feel exclusive. Even the plastic ones feel heavier than the standard G1 stuff. I don't know what it is, but it's just, yeah, I didn't realize how big these, I keep saying that, don't I? But it's true. I never realized how big these were. I'm, my combined, the combiners experience I've got are the, I don't know, the Stunticons, Aerobots. Kind of standard, quite small transformers, but these are, these are on a different scale. Predator King was the, the best combiner. I'm sorry, Devastator, but yeah, no, sorry. Predator King was the, the best combiner and the toys reflect that. And genuinely don't know why these were released in the UK and maybe that's something I need to find out. Why weren't these? toys released in the UK. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely really excited now. I need to go and do something with these. I'll be interested to know, have you got any Predacons in your collection? Or have you got to the complete Predaking? I'll be even more interested to know if you're based in the UK and where you got them from. Stick a comment down below. Likewise, take the time and like, subscribe, and ring the bell here because I'll be doing some more Retro Toys TV videos in the very near future. I'm gonna go and pack all this away and cool down a little bit, and I'll see you again soon. Cheerio.